Today we've got a new Ferrywood from Mizuno. It is the STZ230. And we have Taylor Ledwine with us today to hit some shots, do some testing, and give us some feedback. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you give this video a like and you tell us in the comments what you think of the new Mizuno STZ230 Ferrywood. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Taylor Ledwine, an online master fitter for Second Swing. We're in the tour van today with a new Ferrywood, the STZ230 from Mizuno. Um, a lot of excitement here from mm -hmm. Mizuno. Uh, they are, again, investing more and more resources into their woods, their drivers, their fairy woods, their hybrids. And we're seeing the performance pay off year over year. And I think there should be a lot of excitement over the ST230 series this year. Yeah, um, just kind of looking at it, um, like with the drivers, I don't have a ton of experience with anything mm -hmm. from as you know outside of their irons. Um, but it's a nice sleek looking head, um, not mm -hmm. not too big of a head or anything, pretty compact. So pretty excited to see the kind of numbers we get out of it. Right, and I think first of all, as uh, you know, as at Second Swing, we are going to push fitting as much as we can, and mm -hmm. the the three wood being well, the fairy wood in general being adjustable with the hosel is a really nice feature um, yeah. because it allows the the lot to be adjusted, line goal to be adjusted. So um, in in the fitting here, it kind of gives the Mizuno a pretty big advantage over mm -hmm. some other brands out there that actually don't have adjustability in the fairy wood. Yep. Uh, but then we also have to talk about the Cortec chamber, uh, more sole flexing, which allows for fa faster ball speeds, especially lower on the face. Mm -hmm. um, and Mizuno really pushing the envelope there. Uh, that's a new iteration of kind of their Cortec technology um, that has been implemented into the ST models over the years and then kind of tweaked for this year. Um, so, and the other thing too we need to talk, talk about is with the Ferry Woods, there is one model and that's the STZ here. So um, with that one, there's two, there's a three wood and mm -hmm. a five wood. Um, and with that, like we mentioned on the loss, you can adjust it between 13 and 17 with the 15 degree and then 16 and 20. So yep. I imagine, you know, you're, again, you're fitting over the phone. So I'm um, not necessarily in the, the bay tweaking with the clubs and stuff, but right. it's still really nice to give that golfer some reassurance that, hey, if you get this in the bag, maybe something's not going quite right. You have the adjustability that you can tweak with and fine tune it. Right. So, I mean, kind of looking at ours, we've kind of got it set up for today. Mm -hmm. um, I know that I struggle hitting my three wood in the air yep. off the ground, especially. So we've got it set to a little bit higher setting. Um, it's really important for people who, you know, want that three wood but can't quite get the height out of it they're looking mm -hmm. for, that they can still get this club and adjust that height. Or maybe they hit it a little bit too high, so they want to bring it down. Um, it's a really nice mm -hmm. option slash feature that, you know, in the online fittings, like you said, we don't, we're not able to do it with the customer, but yep. we can talk about why it's nice to get like a club like this that has that option. So if, you know, they're worried about that, you can say, well, you can always adjust that up. Right. So. Yeah, I think that's ultimately the, the biggest addition of these newer metals. You know, it's been in drivers for a while, but mm -hmm. now getting into the fairy woods as a commonplace is something like this can be so handy to have if you're, because swings do change over time, mm -hmm. over, you know, a year of golf, it's going to happen. You're going to develop a tendency pot potentially and yep. to be able to kind of have a fight against that with a, maybe an adjustable hosel tweak is a big, big bonus. So. Um, today we're going to do, we're just going to have Taylor hit some shots with this club right here. Um, the Mitsubishi Kylie 70 gram stiff fairy wood shaft here mm -hmm. in the three wood. And like she mentioned, we've got it adjusted up in loft to kind of fit maybe her game a little bit. But that's the, again, we just talked about for a long time, the advantages of yeah. having an adjustable hosel. So um, Taylor, are you ready to hit some shots here? Yeah, I'm ready to see. All right, so so Taylor, talk mm -hmm. to me, kind of as we get started here in the testing about, well, three wood that you maybe you know, your numbers with a three wood. If you have one, do you have a five wood? What do you have, and what kind of numbers you would expect out of it first? So I carry a three, five, and seven wood. Okay. Um, if I'm honest, I try just hit my three wood off the tee. Yeah. I do struggle with three wood off the ground for okay. some reason, which. Well, you know, that's a common. Yeah, you know, over the phone, we are issue, seeing yeah. that as a common thing. So, um, three wood, I probably, if I'm hitting it off the ground, I'm trying to get it about 220 maybe. Okay. Um, even with this high loft on here, I do hit my three wood very low just because I don't get the best contact off the face. So, mm -hmm. um, if I'm playing five to carry something, it's, I'm not mm -hmm. trying to carry it very far. Just 
trying to get it to roll kind of right. out there. So. Right. Yeah. And I think and that's, I bet a lot of people watching this, you know, will understand that and um, kind of feel that same thing mm -hmm. when they're hitting a three wood off the ground. So what we've done, like we mentioned, this is now at 17 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's up two degrees in loft. That's kind of playing almost like a four wood. Yeah. Granted, it does close the face a tad. So that's going to be a bit of a bias perhaps we see. But mm -hmm. um, so these numbers, that seems like a pretty good first shot, all things considered. Yeah. Um, honestly, if I hit a shot like this on the course, I mean, it's only 213, but right. I'm, I'm happy with that, yeah. you know? I mean, especially if I'm laying up on a par five or whatever, yeah. that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. So. <sighs> See, and that's my typical miss. Really low off the face. Just for some reason, I just really struggle trying to get under the three wood. Yeah, and I think that's, that's a common, mm -hmm. you know, uh, struggle that golfers have. So. Yeah. Um, we can, yeah, we can, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that plays out the rest okay. of the, the way here because, you know, that, that low face shot sometimes, like we mentioned, the core tech technology, it should, we will, we'll see better than that. I think, mm -hmm. um, for sure. Ooh, that was it. Well, that was a lot better. Yeah. That's it really well. Yeah. Well, you were saying you like to get it out to 220 with your three wood. Mm -hmm. um, 223, similar shot to the last time. Yeah. And that's still lofted up two degrees. So I definitely hit that one more off the center. First one, yeah. feel wise, kind of more off the heel. Okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, one, four, six solid. on the smash is pretty efficient. Yeah. Another good swing. I think we're seeing a pretty consistent shot shape here start to form. Yeah, just that little bit to the left like yep. that. You're getting plenty of spin. Now, it, again, like you mentioned, you rarely, you know, you, you like to play three wood only off the tee mm -hmm. most of the time. And so you're not, you're not going to get a ton of height on these things. But right. I think it's still, the fact that it's turning left and still spinning in the mid 3000s, I think is a pretty good sign for this club. Yeah, I mean, the past two have been pretty off the center and... Um, like you touched on, these are all, you know, kind of ideal numbers that I'd be looking for, mm -hmm. so. That's another good swing. Wow. So spin dropped a tad there, but you gained some distance off of that one. Yeah, I'm not sure if the ball speed will show up, but I definitely feel like I swung a little bit harder um, at that one than the first couple. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is you really didn't swing much harder you hit it, hit it more efficiently though. Yeah. You gained a mile an hour, well, half a mile an hour roughly, and then that spin dropped a little bit. You must have hit that just kind of in that hot spot. Yeah. And it gained uh, another nine yards. You can kind of see it's up here, you know, on the dispersion there. But the club, I mean, the shots feel, even the one I hit off, not quite the center, they feel really nice yeah. off the face though. How's that club look? So like, you know, in terms of maybe overall mm -hmm. fairy woods, I know you've hit a few, you've tested a few, you have some in your bag, obviously. Yep. How is that shape compared to others out there? So I have a Titleist TSI 3. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure the 3. Uh, the face kind of looks similar, or the head kind of looks similar in shape and size and okay. everything. Um, one thing we touched on in the driver uh, mm. video is this kind of different color here. Yeah, the, the, the two-tone kind of crown. Yeah. Uh, um, I much prefer there. kind of like a solid uh, crown on it, but I mean... The okay. feel's so nice off this one yeah. that it's not bothering me that yeah, much. Yeah, and that's that's the thing too. I mean, that the the look piece is totally player preference. Mm -hmm. um, and even like the feel, I imagine too. I don't know if you're catching anything on feel, yeah. but that's also something where we we take that a lot in the fittings, whether you're talking to someone over the phone and they're able to um, give some feedback on what they're experiencing with their clubs mm -hmm. or in the fitting here when they test clubs differently. We put a lot of weight on what the player thinks of the look and feel and try to uh, encourage a golfer to take that seriously and yeah. not just blindly go by by numbers because when you get on the course, you need to look at a club and have confidence in that club and what it looks like and um, the fact that you can hit that shot. Right, if you don't like the look or just the feel of the club in general, mm -hmm. the majority of the time you're not gonna hit a good shot right. just because you're not comfortable over it, right. you know? And um, so knowing that you like that about a club, like you said, mm -hmm. it's extremely important. Right. So. Yeah, golf's already hard. We don't need yeah. to make it more difficult. See, that was interesting there because we kind of tested you. We gave you a little break there. Yeah. And you passed the test. <laughs> really good swing again. 
I mean, these numbers are crazy right now. Well, so we've that, that's five shots. Yep. Average spin deviation, well, the deviation of 188 is actually crazy. Um, your average carry right on the dot at 200 yards, mm -hmm. rolling out to 224. And again, that's largely because your height is at 61 feet. Um, bring up this dispersion, you can see certainly a trend developing. And yeah. again, we, we talked about that face angle is turned. So um, it's going to have that left bias, but mm -hmm. it's a pretty tight dispersion, all things considered. I mean, there's clearly a, a trend that emerged there. If you hit me this bag on the golf course, I'm extremely happy with those five shots right there, yeah. especially um, with this being a club that I tend to struggle with, especially off the ground. Yeah. Um, that's pretty ideal for me if I was to go play around with this. Right. So. Yeah, that is really good. And I also just wanted to, I'm going to bring up one more thing here. Yeah. I'm going to select all these shots. I'm going to bring up the tracer and you can kind of see, look at that trend. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, you have the, the draw working. And I think that's also nice too for people to see that um if someone is because there's only one fairy wood yep. in this line so it has to be able to do a lot of things to kind of fit in and, and be functional as a, as a as a product in the line of new mizuno woods and workability is probably a thing that a lot of golfers are looking for mm -hmm. to see that ball turn when you know you play that shot shape as a draw yeah i think is also another encouraging thing for those players that might want the workability and might want that kind of um playability and shot shaping in their game yeah, um, if I could hit a draw every shot, I, that would be awesome. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, it did. You did. I know, <laughs> right. You know, if I could just take that with every club I hit on the course, yeah. that would be ideal. So um, I'm really liking the feel that Mizuno's getting off this face. Yeah. Uh, like I said, even the one that wasn't quite off the center didn't have, I knew I didn't hit it as crisp, right. but it's not anything, you know, substantially feeling different. Right, so. yeah, I think it might have been this one here. Yeah. Which, um, so you dropped a little bit of distance there, right? Mm -hmm. Which I think is pretty standard, but the rest of these carried just about 200 or a little over 200. Yeah. And then rolled out to over 220 yards here. And the um, nice thing about that short one is I didn't hit it quite off the center, but I mean, if you're looking how far left they are, it wasn't, oh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much in line with the other ones. So. Right, and, and it, we should also put this in the context of a shot from 200 plus yards away when you're hitting a fairy wood into a green mm -hmm. per se. I mean, it, it's going to require a really good shot yeah. anyway to be on the green, and if you miss it slightly, that actually still has a chance of being on the green, all mm -hmm. things considered. You, you lost some distance, but it's in the same general area, yeah. which is a big plus, because if you miss hit one, a lot of times that's not the case. So uh, I think really good testing here from the STZ230 Fairywood, and mm -hmm. um, we got some really good thoughts to jump on here in the final segment. Yeah. All right, Taylor, testing mm -hmm. complete here, the STZ230 Fairway Wood. Um, before we get into kind of who this club is for, um, just your general uh, takeaways from testing and kind of what we saw in the numbers, mm -hmm. um, what do you have for the viewers? I think it's a great three wood. Yeah. Um, you know, the advantage of being able to kind of loft it up more, yeah. um, for me, that's a great option because like we said, I need just that little bit of help to get it up in the air. Mm -hmm. um, the numbers when we were hitting are all pretty much ideal, what I'm looking for in a three wood, putting in my bag. Um, so I think it, it's a great option right off the center of the face. It's, it's pretty hot off the yeah. center, um, but if you're not hitting that center, you're not, you're losing a little distance, but you're not losing right. control or anything like that. Yeah, you're not, you're not punished really that much mm -hmm. um, when you do a miss hit, when yeah. she had it, that one right there we talked about at the end of the segment. Uh, so, so now let's kind of get into the, you know, the meat of this section, um, which is kind of who this club is for. But I think, I mean, really this, so we talked about that Mizuno has one fairway wood for this kind of ST230 lineup, mm -hmm. and it kind of has to do a lot of things yeah. for, that to be, for that to work. And it, it really does do a lot of things. We talked about the workability, but also the forgiveness and speed. So there are a lot, real probably a lot of golfers that can play this, right? I would say majority of golfers. I mean, if you're looking for that workability, we saw you're able to work that a little bit to the left. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for forgiveness, you don't have to hit it right off the center. We also saw a shot like that. Um, so I think this video kind of just gave a good example yep. of who can play it. It's pretty much any golfer almost yeah. for, depending on what they're looking for, can play this three wood. Right, because the other piece too, and I alluded to it in the beginning, but mm -hmm. so there's, two, there's a three wood and a five wood available, mm -hmm. right? But because of the adjustability, you have the range of 13 to 20 degrees of loft that you could play 
an STZ 230 fairway one at. So that gives you a ton of range and a really a, a great possibility of actually having both in the bag, three wood and five wood. You could have a 15 and a 20 or, you know, 15 and 18 or whatever works for your gapping. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I know you're a proponent of having multiple fairway woods in the bag. Yeah. So um, I think really good stuff here. STZ 230 fairway wood. Uh, I think the last thing to say is golfers to to get fit at second swing, yeah. whether that's over the phone with someone like Taylor or in the store with one of our master fitters. Make sure you get your game dialed in with an STZ 230 fairway wood. Uh, Taylor, thank you for joining and hitting mm -hmm. all the shots, giving the feedback. Uh, I think we're going to be really excited about this one this year. Yeah, I'm excited to kind of hear the hype around it from other golfers and see their thoughts.